Hi everybody, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen. So tonight I've got Verena from Cakes by Verena with us tonight and I'm really excited and looking forward to what she's going to show us with her wonderful smoothers. So Verena is going to actually show you tonight on how to uh, cut a, a round cake with sugar paste. She's going to show you how to cover a square cake with sugar paste. She's going to use her amazing smoothers and this is her brand new Get a Grip smoother. Get a grip. Did you get, get that? A grip. Get a grip. <laughs> get a grip. Get a grip. Oh, kind of a bit of a poem going on there, don't you think? <laughs> so, anyhow, so we're quite busy in the kitchen. Okay, so while everybody's coming together, we're going to get John to do a few shout outs while our little audience builds. But also, let me tell you who's in the kitchen tonight. So, first of all, we've got Barina and myself, and I'm going to leave Barina to do um, the cake. And she's never used nifty nozzles before. So I'm going to make some buttercream up for you. And when she's done the round cake, she's actually going to make a unicorn cake for you. So that's an extra bonus tonight, because she didn't know that was going to happen. No. And it will be fun to see a brand new newbie using it. So maybe interesting if I have to bail her out. But she's a professional, so hopefully not. She'll get it done. And then I'm going to um, do some cone cakes. So because of the colours, I just thought I would triple uh, colour a bag for you. So I'm going to show you how to make the buttercream that's perfect for the nifty nozzles. And then I'm going to triple tone a bag for you and just do some um, ice cream swirls with the um, 1M Wilton. Okay. And then what else are we going to do? I forgot. Aren't you going to do some um, Karen Davies moulds? I was thinking about doing some. the square cake. Yes, that would be that's nice. what I was thinking of doing. Karen Davies moulds. Karen Davies moulds. <laughs> So, and then in the kitchen here, we have Maria. So, hello, Maria. John, do you want to say hello to Maria? <laughs> so, Maria, as usual, you'll see Maria bobbing around the kitchen, and she'll be doing her um, little videos that she always puts on Facebook later on in the week. And then if John flashes around to our photographer, you're going to... This is Simon. So, Simon... <laughs> So Simon is the guy who does all those wonderful pictures for us. So all the pictures that you see on, on our website are all done by Simon. And because Farina has an early flight out of here this morning, I've asked Simon to come in tonight and take some pictures of what um, Farina is doing while she's working. So it's quite busy in here. So let's just do a few shout outs first. Let's say a few hellos. Who's here, John? We've got Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Got Lindsay McIver? Yes, yes. Yeah. Hi, Lindsay. First to join, Elaine Lawton. Hi, Elaine. Happy birthday for yesterday, Elaine. Uh, Rob Allen's here. Hi, Wen Rob. Wendy Ann Preston. Wendy Ann. Halvey Mahajan. Uh, can you say it slower so I can cat we can Kat, say that? Kat Riley. Hi, Kat. Elaine Lawton. Got Elaine. Birthday girl. Joanna Birkin. Hi, Joanna. Zoe Cocker. <laughs> so, hi, Zoe. Naya Ayala, Louisa Paris, so Elaine there, Hollowell, Karen there, Naylor, Valerie Swarbrick, Martin Dursley, Farhat Mahmood, Angie Croft Deacon. I'm just going to let John shout them out. Jenny Scholes. Right, just while we stop, is there any Verena fans here? So, are any Verena's followers? So, let's get some likes and loves up if you follow Verena's page. She does have a, um, a you have a Facebook page and a closed group, I have don't you? A Facebook page and a group for kids. Yes, Maybe. we do. We Hi! Do. <laughs> so, Verena, just tell us about your uh, Facebook page and your closed group page. Why do you have to? My Facebook page is mainly where I put my masterpieces, my works of art. Um, and my group is for cake makers where I give them tips on finish um, we all share ideas actually we inspire each other we motivate each other it can be quite a lonely job being a cake maker in your kitchen all I know I've seen it by yourself in the morning. two in the morning <laughs> and I do a lot of um, live myself on there and show them how I ice cake. She does some products. funny videos. I've been laughing at Marina when she does a video because <laughs> I have the pleasure of John videoing us but uh, mainly because I can't see anything, the comments or anything but Marina does it all by herself mm. so she makes me laugh. So you don't mind if I show them this because I'm sure they're recognised. I now think this is the Marina start of a video. <laughs> Hi everybody. Not quite sure what that's about. <laughs> Go on, Brie, do it. Show how you do it. Hello. Hello. <laughs> it's really hard when you put the camera face. You're going with there, Brie. <laughs> anyway, 
So, when, uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Marina cool, cool down for a minute and I'm just going to tell you what we've got on offer today. Okay, so why don't you get yourself prepped up and let you get your normal glow back. So let me just um, take you over here. So these bundle deals, these are the Nifty Nozzle bundle deals. Um, there's 14 Nifty Nozzles in this bundle deal. I did show you some of the cakes that I made last week. You get 14 Nifty Nozzles, you get the leaf tip. Now this is a perfect bundle deal if you've not bought the Russian piping tips. Do remember these are the genuine Russian piping tips made by Alexander, the original designer. And everybody who buys this set it's about £50 normally, but I've got it on offer at £36.99. But anybody who buys this set gets this big one as well free. Now this one here is called Posy and it's £4.99. So it, the offer finishes from midnight tonight. I put it on last week and it probably won't finish at midnight tonight because I'll probably be up tomorrow morning when I take it offline. So that's that bundle deal there. And that's £36.99 and you get this £4.99 one free. So you're doing a massive saving. And then if John follows me around here, just to remind you of a couple of things, okay? So I've got the cone cake stands back in stock. So this is what I'm going to use tonight for you. It's back on the website. Don't know if any of you realise that the, we've been playing with this today. Um, and Brina's going to use this for her horn. Um, albeit she's not going to use the rose gold one, she's going to use the bronze. But PME have just brought out the new luster spray, rose gold. Um, we've got the dusted cornflower dusting pouch in. This is 100 grams. Um, it's a big, big, bigger bag, 100 grams, and it's £2.75. And Brina's going to be using them tonight. Obviously, those ladies who bought the DK applicators, the pearls are in. Those are the metallics. So there's five colours of the metallics and four colours of the pearlescents. They're in stock. And I think, how much are they? Retail, John. I can't remember. I can't remember what they are, actually. But uh, anyhow, they're on the website there. Um, we have started stocking Sugar Paste Direct. Okay, so Sugar Paste Direct is in stock. We've got it in four colours. Uh, the five kilo white, the five kilo ivory, the two and a half pillar box red, and the two and a half black. Karen Davies sugar paste, I'm going to use it tonight as well, because, um, but we've only got vanilla in stock. We're out of marshmallow. Not because we're out of marshmallow, Karen's out of marshmallow. This is the new Kerry Griffiths mold, the dragonfly. Told you about that. All our icing sugars, just for anybody who's never used us before or seen us before so if anybody's a newbie say hi now if you're a newbie but this is the sugar and crumbs flavored icing sugars there's 36 in the range so i just thought i put them on the back there so you can see all natural flavorings all white in colors apart from jaffa twist chocolate milkshake mint chocolate in the flavored icing sugars and um, these two cakes here are the two cakes that Brina is going to be sugar pasting tonight. So she's made these last night, gashed, ganached them this morning, and she's going to um, sugar paste those tonight. And then let me take you over here so we can carry on. Let's kick Simon out of the way for a moment. So I'll just bring you over here. So um, the cups and saucers range, I did tell you, so it's one, two, three, four, five, six. Soup and a roll, these are a great Christmas present, £10, fantastic for your dad. Soup and a roll, mince pies and mulled wine, another one. Choc hot chocolate marshmallows, coffee and cake. We've got this lovely strawberry one, snack set here, this is lovely. And we've got tea and toast. Uh, we've got some new smoothers in from Cake Star, not smoothers, these are combs, sorry, pattern combs. Okay, for edges round, if you want that funny scrapey edge thing. And this is for a smooth edge. And then there's some more flavoured icing sugars up there. Okay, so what I'm going, oh, and the other thing is, what I'm going to do is, you'll hear me in the background. Okay, you coming over here? Yeah. Right, so you will hear me in the background. I'll just go to mid background there with Brina. One second. Brina. Oh, you've got, oh, yes, you've gone back to normal colour, Brina. Very good. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Go on. I, I, I don't know. Because I'm not watching You have to do it sideways, don't you? Yeah, that's what you do. But you're not usually smiling, usually. I know. I can see myself. It's really 
Let you come forward with tonight. Okay, so I'm going to be in the background making some buttercream. I've already made some buttercream and I'm, already, I'm going to make a batch for you later. But I'm just going to get the buttercream ready for the nozzles for Barina when she does her sugar pasting. And I'm going to leave you to it now. Okay. Yeah, good. So anybody else said hello? Has that asked questions, John? Yeah, we have had a few newbies, but it's all they've all flown past. Right. We've got someone in from New Jersey, I noticed. Ah, oh, fantastic. Oh, cool. New Jersey. Yeah. Good. Very, very good. Someone else from Cornwall. Sorry, I've, I've missed the names because they've all flown past so fast. <laughs> right. Sorry, Brina. Right. So we're going to cover the six inch round first. Um, we're going to use the Get a Grip Smoother. We're going to use my new spacers, which are on your website as well, Cattle now. They're yeah. on the website, aren't they, Miriam? They're on the website. Um, these are three millimetre thickness, so they give you the perfect thickness for an even finish on your cake and sharp edges. To get the sharp edges on this one, we're going to use the new upside down method plates as well. So we'll put that upside down. Um, and we're going to be using Sugar Paste Direct, which those of you who do follow me on my group and page know that I love and prefer. Um, and I'm going to be trying this today. I usually use just a sifter, so this is a little bit luxury for me, actually. Puffing it, rather than trying to <laughs> scrape it along the worktop and make it work. It, it kind of does it for me, so hopefully I'll um, get one for myself as well. Yeah. So for the six inch, I'm going to grab it. Do we have some grease proof paper storage? Oh, so my panache has had time to set. Okay, so it's nice and solid. Thank you very much. I can lift that by the sides if I want to. If it's nice and set. For a six inch cake of this height, I would start with around 600 grams of sugar paste. I will have excess that I can wrap up and save. Oh. So that's about five inches tall. Something else, just send them over my way okay. and I can tell you what I'm doing. We're, we're sharing between us. Nearly there. We've got a question here from Susan. Do you ever use cream on your cakes before the fondant? As your crumb coat? Uh, I used to, uh, but I find ganache is easier. I think it ganache is better. It saves you a lot of trouble, any issues you have in the heat. Use a high ratio of chocolate to cream. In the summer, it's fantastic. Less chances of melting disasters. Yeah. I've never had one, luckily, but you can actually... You just remove the cream in between the layers. In between the layers. I filled with buttercream. But um, this can be done and used with buttercream. You don't have to switch to ganache. Um, but I personally much, much, much prefer ganache. So I'm going to activate the gum and sugar paste. You need to knead it a little bit. Now, I use a little bit of Trex to knead in with. When you're kneading sugar paste, try not to grab a load and fold it over, because if you do that, you create an air bubble in here, which will create you extra air bubbles in here. Do you have a pen or anything, Carol? A pen? Yeah. I forgot to bring a pen. Um, does it have to be a big pin or does it have to no, be a very No, just a little, little pin would do any sort of little pin. Well, something like this do, because it's not totally sticking. Yeah, that'll do for now, because it's, it's a demo, it's fine. So, your need and you're kind of massaging it, rather than folding it over. So if you had to use buttercream, what advice would you give? Use Lurpak buttercream, my okay to say that, yeah. <laughs> Lurpak buttercream sets a lot firmer um, and I would advise that you crumb coat the cake the night before, thank you Carol, yeah, food sticks. brilliant, crumb coat the cake the night before, you leave it out on your worktop overnight to crust um, and that crust will be solid enough for you to then cover it with sugar paste without 
sinking or melting under, under your hands. Um, if you're worried about flies or anything in the kitchen, um, you, they do these amazing nets now. You can just put the net over the cake on the worktop. Um, don't seal the cake over with anything because the buttercream needs that air to dry. So I think this is buttercream from last week, isn't it, Carol? That's solid. That's solid, yeah. It's from um, a few weeks. A few, that's from a few okay, weeks. Okay, well, yeah, that's, that's a bit too solid. I don't advise you leave it for a few weeks. But yeah. <laughs> overnight, overnight, we'll cross it off and use a quality butter. The best one is Lurpak. Other ones, cheaper alternatives, do taste like Lurpak, but they don't cross as well. They don't go as firm. So use Lurpak and leave it overnight. How long, how long will a cake with ganache and sugar paste last out of the fridge but in a cool place? Depends on when you baked it. Depends on when you baked it. I advise my wedding cakes, I bake everything fresh, I don't freeze. Um, five days, I say for mine. It can be longer. We've done tests where we've cut them after six weeks and there's nothing in them or any mold. They're not edible, they're not tasty. But um, Disney, I agree everybody with you. has uh, their own. Yeah, I agree with you. Firstly, if I make a cake, I, I want to make it, get it out, and give them like three days to eat it. Yeah. But I'm amazed how many people keep it in a box and keep eating it for weeks afterwards. But I mean, I won't, say, I won't tell them. Yeah, what to I've do. had customers say they've cut it after 10 days yeah. and it's delicious. Yeah. I didn't advise them to do that. Ooh, no. look at that. I do. Because they've got to remember this is a homemade cake, not yeah. a factory cake from Asda or wherever you get them exactly. from. I think if you use ganache, um, once you boil the cream, it changes anyway, so um, it's not fresh cream anymore. It's, let's say, more sterile. Okay, so that's... Is there any chance that we could post your recipe for ganache? Yes, and you can get it on my group. There's actually a video that I did. I might actually do one from the page. Um, so I use a four to one ratio of white chocolate to cream alternative and um, the chocolate I like to use is Tesco's own or Belcolade depends on whether you want to go for the you know everyday chocolate that's available in the supermarket or a Belgian chocolate that's the two I like the cream I like to use is I like to use Glen Delight because it's in a Tetra pack and I don't have to get to the shop every day for cream the amount of baking I do and the amount of ganache I need to make, I can't pop out for cream all the time. So four to one ratio for white chocolate, three to one ratio for milk chocolate. So that would mean 400 grams of white chocolate to 100 ml of double cream. Okay. So I'm gonna roll this out now, is that okay? Before I roll it out, um, I'd like to wet this cake a little bit, sorry. So you can spritz this with a bottle, you can airbrush some water onto it, cool boiled water. Um, or what I have here, I'm going to just dab it with a little bit of wet kitchen roll. Um, I want to make sure I cover the whole entire cake. Make sure you use a quality kitchen roll so it doesn't shred when you're doing this. Make sure you cover everything. Make sure the edge is wet as well because you don't want an air bubble around this edge. Okay. And we're going to use the spacers to roll out the sugar paste to exactly three millimeters. Is the cake room temperature before covering? Yes, even when I can ash. I leave it overnight usually. Well, we didn't have overnight this time, but we leave it for for the day. And okay, cake got ganache this morning. Yeah. So it's gonna but normally you should leave it overnight. <laughs> Just to move it and Rolling this out. See how there's not any air bubbles in the sugar paste yet. Have you explained about those wonderful spaces of yours? Yes. We'll get some more corn flour under here because this is sticking for me because Did we get that piece of cutter, John? Oops. Where's that piece of cutter? Is it in your work bag? Is it definitely there? You remember? 
Of course, I don't forget things. Where did you get the rolling pin from? It's Carol's rolling pin. Oh, okay. These bags, little sifting, this, these cornflour bags are brilliant because if you use a sifter, you get big blobs of cornflour under your icing and those blobs of cornflour can cause air pockets when you put it on your cake. So to prevent that happening, these are actually brilliant. This is the first time I'm using it, so I like it. I've been spoiled rotten here with materials and lovely things I can use. We've just got a couple of people who have just joined us. Is there any chance just going back to the beginning and explaining what uh, what tonight's session is about? So we are doing sharp edges on a six inch cake, round cake. And we're also doing them on a um, square cake. And we're using my new Get A Grip Flexi Smoothers. And we are also using an upside down method. Gonna upside down method plate. Um, so we're also using my new three millimeter spacers. I'm gonna cover this before this dries, the sugar paste, because if it dries, it can crack, so. Where'd that pen go? Can't give me a lovely pen, but I've lost it. Anybody see a little wooden stick? No? It's all right. I don't really have any air bubbles anyway, so yeah. good. So to cover, I put the rolling pin back down. Oh my goodness, I would have never Cam seen that. Camouflaged. That's brilliant. Right, I have one tiny little air bubble because of the way that was needed. No other air bubbles. Lovely and silky smooth. The pleasure of going library, there is. Your husband leaves something in the van, and I have to go outside where it's pouring down rain. You see me now, eh? <laughs> Friend, oh, <laughs> Colin will be sitting there watching. Well, that'd be something I'd do. Yeah, exactly. watching Colin. That's something you would do. So thanks, Colin. thanks, John, for that. Yeah. Right. So to cover, put your own pin back down. Leave your spacers there so it doesn't dent the icing. Flip it away from you. Good quality sugar paste shouldn't stretch too much when you do that, okay? So I'm going to go over here and cover now. If you want to go around here, Simon, and you can get some pictures of this part, okay? So make sure that's not too far, you're not using too much there. Use your rolling pin to cover your cake. Simple as that. Quality sugar paste doesn't tear on the edges. So the first thing I'm going to do is seal these edges because I don't want them to rip, okay? So very quickly seal them. Get any air bubbles out the top. Edges are sealed. Okay. A little bit at a time, undo these plates. I'm trying to do this as quickly as I can because sugar paste can dry quite fast and I don't want it to do. What's the brand of icing that you're using again please? We're using Sugar Paste Direct. So I call this butterfly fingers, you kind of just undo it and you just very gently pat it down so you don't mark it. See, 
and that's my fault I got a tiny tiny little rip there if you do get any little rips that's you the use thing, they do want to know yeah um, or let me just get this bit covered if you do get any tiny little rips you use the rough side of the smoother and you blend okay so I will probably rip a bit in a second on purpose and show you how we might be able to blend that and patch that up okay So to cut neatly around the cake, just little by little, don't get um, pizza cutter happy and just try to go all the way around, a little bit at a time. I like using greaseproof paper there because it doesn't have a mind of its own like a turntable would and I can control when I want to turn it, it's not turning away from me. So, See if we have a bit here that we're going to pick out. Okay, we've broken that. Get a bit of icing. Okay, we'll pop that in there and we'll get a little smoother. And just like when you contour your face and you're blending your concealer, you blend that away. Okay, so before this dries, got a big air bubble there. Get your air bubbles as quickly as you can, preferably with an acupuncture pen or something, or very, very, very thin pen. Okay. I'm a messy worker, can you tell? I've torn a bit, but there, that was totally my fault. So we get one of the upside down method plates, we'll pop it on top of the cake. Now these are textured like the smoothers. Okay, they're not going to crease and crinkle. If you were to get a grease, bit of greaseproof paper, flip that over into a drum, they're not going to crease your edge like the greaseproof paper or the drum would. They won't stick like it would. So it just keeps everything nice and tight. So get that to the edge. Get just your hand on. underneath. Hold on with that picture in a minute. Ready, Simon? Simon. <laughs> Simon. <laughs> yeah. uh, just so everybody knows, we've got Simon here taking some pictures. Ready? Yes, Flip. Okay. Okay. So for yeah. six inch, five inch, six inch, seven inch cakes, I recommend a ten inch plate. For seven inch, eight inch, nine inch, ten inch, I recommend a twelve inch plate. And it's round and square. So you can pick which ones you prefer. So we've got the cake upside down. Um, I'd like to clean my hand just. Try the tea towel. Yeah, good. Are you okay? Yeah. So we're not so pretty cake at the moment. We have a get a grip smoother. Now the problem, these are great, but one of the issues that people came to me with was slipping out my hand. I can't get a grip. Can't get a grip. <laughs> so that's why I thought I would get a grip. But these, they have backing, so you get a grip, okay? So up against the cake, round and down. You're manipulating that icing, you're pushing it down, okay? You can rub back and forth. The problem people were also having is when they were doing this tradi the traditional way is they were getting this line around the rim, which is really irritating because once it's there, it's not going away. Another tip I have for you is sit down when you're doing this because if you're standing up, you put a lot of your body weight on top of the cake and you end up crushing the ganache. Okay, so if you sit down, you're not encouraged to put on as much weight on top of the cake. 
You're just holding it down, you're not pushing it. If you cut a bit, that's okay. Blend it in. Your um, work tops are a lot higher than mine, Carol, so I'm going to stand up for this one. <laughs> a lot higher than mine. I suppose I sit at my table. Now this side, I actually ripped it a little bit because I wasn't very careful. So I'm going to cut that. You see how you can actually cut the sugar paste there? Pull it away. Smooth that down. And that's going to give you a lovely crisp edge. Okay. So if you've made a mistake and cut it, you can rectify that, no problem. Can you just explain why you turned the cake upside down? Because one of the problems we had um, doing it the traditional way, smoother on top, smoother at the side, um, is you get a line across here. The upside down method seems to eliminate that and makes things a lot easier and faster. We can show you the other way as well. So we'll do some of this and we'll show you the other way too. And then you can see which one you prefer because everybody works differently. So we have both options here. Okay. Let me get this side done. So Sarah has asked that she's made white ganache today at a ratio of three to one. Mm -hmm. Can she add more chocolate now or does she start again? Uh, she, as long as the ganache is remelted a little bit in the microwave and is soft, she can melt some more chocolate and beat it in. Stir it in really, really well with a um, hard plastic spoon or a wooden spoon. So she can add extra in. So see how that's smoother? It's actually not going anywhere. It's not slipping. If I go back to this one... We've got somebody from Costa Rica. Hello! How have we got in from Costa Rica? Right, before I smooth all this, if you get a little bit of excess up here when you're smoothing stuff, you can just take a sharp knife and trim that off, okay? Take a sharp knife and trim it off. It's a really neat finish up here as well, okay? So I'm going to flip this back around and show you the other way that you can get a sharp edge. Is that alright? Farah from Dubai and Ellen from Gloucester. Oh, fantastic. International audience tonight. Yeah, brilliant. So we have bits of a sharp edge now. We have bits without a sharp edge, I will show you on the bit without a sharp edge. Can I look at okay. the thing that with sharp edge bit? We've got Marietta, Marietta from South Africa. Maria so, from Texas. We've got a sharp edge here, okay, we don't hear. So if you're doing, say, like a 12 inch cake or something, you want to do it around this way. You put this on top of the cake, you make a little window with your index finger and your thumb, and you're watching through that window. These two smoothers are touching, and it's these two plastics touching that create the sharp edge. So you just rub sideways. If you hold a smoother like this, okay? Sorry, Simon, you just. <laughs> you want to go and take that picture, Simon? If you hold a smoother like this, okay? What seems to happen to people naturally is they are so keen to get the sharp edge that they work really, really hard on it and they get a tapered effect cake. We want to stop that happening. So the way to stop that happening is to distribute an even amount of weight onto the cake with these four fingers, okay? Even amount of weight distributed on there. And that keeps everything nice and level at the sides as well, okay? And that's what a get a grip smoother 
makes it really easy with. Okay. Don't push down too much on this. See, you're getting a sharp edge, but for me, the upside down method is a lot sharper. It takes like sharp edges to another level, which is great. Everybody likes sharp, sharp edges, don't they? Everybody they likes them. There are some cakes that suit a beveled edge, but for me, I prefer a nice sharp edge. So, I'm going to finish this one. I've got an air bubble there. Carol, do you want to do anything? Do I want to do anything? Um, and then we'll go into the square. Well, what I can do is I can actually show them how to make butter cream. So just hang on a second. Okay. Get lots of and I'll just get this. That. I'll just and get this. I can use Simon and Maria and um, then look at taking some pictures for you. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to flip it back upside down because I prefer upside down. <laughs> <laughs> I prefer upside down. <laughs> you, prefer, you prefer the upside down yeah. method? Right, so just wait a minute, John. So sorry guys, I'm here busily, busily preparing buttercream for um, Farina. And if I look wet and bedraggled, that's because John had forgot the, uh, what's it called? Pizza cutter. Pizza cutter. Left it in the car, so I had to rush in the rain. So uh, I've now got a frizzy mop. So uh, let me just get do that. So Farina is actually going to do a unicorn cake tonight. And I'm actually preparing the colours for her. Um, and I'm going to use the same colours on the cone cakes as well. So let's put that there. So she's going to... This was just a rough version that Laura did. Anybody who watched us in um, June... Laura quickly just had a dish on. She was doing some pavlovas with the Mrs. Whippy, and then she just thought, you know what, this is so this is a stereophone cake, so she just quickly, quickly whacked some buttercream on. But the main thing was to show you how to use the nozzles for your unicorn cake, okay? So, Barina's actually going to do it on this cake that she's um, sugar pasting at the moment. Now, we do have a bundle deal for the unicorn cake, and in there you get five nozzles, okay? You get the five colour splash, which are the colours that are on here, which I'm mixing tonight. So one, two, three, four, five. So you get the jasmine, the ruby, the, su uh, the sunflower tulip, the starburst, the Wilton 1M, and that's a bundle deal of 19 99 Now, anybody who orders this bundle deal, I'm throwing in a free bag of icing sugar. So all you have to do is, in the order notes, so when you order this, in the order notes or delivery notes, just put in which flavour you would like free. If you don't put in a free flavour, we'll just throw in whatever one we've got to hand. So everybody who orders this, they're saving money already because I've reduced, this is a 19.99 bundle, and then I'm also giving you a free bag of icing sugar. And so, just on the smoothers. Uh, just on the smoothers. Do you want to go back to really good when, when, when are they available? They're on the website now. They're on a pre-order, okay, and we've actually sold lots on pre-order, but this is Verena's brand new um, item, and because I wanted to get it on the website straight away, she's only just been making them. Now, she gets them back Monday. You'll have them all ready for Monday, right? Monday. So she gets them all back this weekend. They'll all be packaged up, and they're coming out to us Monday, Tuesday. So they're coming over from Ireland, so hopefully we should get them Wednesday, Thursday, and then we're dispatching next Friday. So if you want to order them, they're on the website, you can order them, but do remember they won't be dispatched at the earliest till maybe next Thursday or Friday, and anything else you order will come with that order as well. So it won't be a separated order, it'll all come together then, okay? And they're on the website, and don't forget, if you spend over £30, you get free delivery as well. Yeah. And so can you just run through the nozzles that are in the unicorn bundle again, please? Yeah, of course I can. Yeah, just come round there, John. Can you reach? Okay. So there's five nozzles in the unicorn bundle. So let's just talk you through them. Okay, there's this there's the tu sunflower, sorry, sunflower, summer tulip. Okay. The starburst. Now the summer tulip is this yellow one. So we've done that in yellow. And then we've got the starburst, which we've done in blue. And then we've got the rose, okay, this one's called Ruby, so you can see the rose. 
Then we've got Jasmine, or Night Jasmine, I can't remember which one's called, but it's one of the Jasmines, which is the violet one. And then we've got the 1M Wilton, okay? And that's the five there. You get the violet colour, the jade colour splash, the lemon colour splash, the pistachio and the pale pink. And as you all know, I'm a massive fan of these um, gels. There's not really any problem with any gels. You know, I've used them all and there's no problems with any of them. The reason I like these... It's a jasmine, not the night jasmine. Is it the jasmine? Who's corrected me? Laura. Is it our Laura? Well done, glad she's watching tonight. So Laura, you've not had the baby then. <laughs> <laughs> the reason I like these is because um, you get this nice little tip and you can just squeeze out drop by drop how much you want. Um, these should be a bit cleaner really. But um, they start off, I've just opened the lemon tonight. So they start off and you just cut a little hole there and then just pop a drip out by drip. So Laura made this one way back in June, as I say, on a stereophone cake. Um, Brina's actually never used nifty nozzles tonight, so she wants to have a go at them for the first time. So live, she'll be doing that. So let's see how she gets some of those. And then I'm, while I'm here, I'm just going to make some buttercream for you guys. So there's going to be a lot of noise in the kitchen. Do you want John back yet, Brina? Yeah, can we just show what this looks like when it's flipped over? Yeah. So once you've got your sharp edge, you know you have a sharp edge when, I've made these clear still for a reason, see this clear bit at the bottom, when that is flush with the cake, that means the sharp edge is created, move on to the next bit, okay, so that's flush. If there's a gap in between the cake and the smoother, it means there's still a beveled edge, so keep going, once it's flat against it and it's flush, you have a sharp edge. When you finish, you can just go around here and smooth anything down with one of these little smoothers. So you do get all of these in the pack. You get two large ones. One of them is a get a grip. You get a medium one, three inch by just under six inch. And you get two of these small ones. And you get this dainty little dinky cute one, which is brilliant for blending. Absolutely brilliant. Oh, little one as well. They're great for cutting too. <laughs> so, and you also get your angled ones for your square corners. So I'm going to demo them next. But what I want to show you is what this looks like when we flip it back round. So how, how many smoothers do you get and how much are they? They're eleven ninety nine. You get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine for eleven ninety nine. Yeah. And we sell the plates as well. We sell the plates. plates well. We have 10 inch square, 12 inch square, 10, 10 inch, inch round. round and 12 inch round. Yeah. For all of you who already have my spoolers, there is an upgrade of just one get a grip. Okay. If you don't have my smoothers already, you need the full kit. But if you already have them and they're not worn and you don't need the full set again, there is the upgrade yeah. which is on Carol's website. Um, and that's how much Carol? Five she goes better. Five pounds. Five pounds. Five, pounds, five pounds for the upgrade. Yeah. Okay? And the full set's eleven ninety-nine. Oh yes, yeah. <laughs> these are on as well. The spacers are on and they are nine ninety-nine. And that's it. So I'm going to flip this round, is that okay? I'm going to flip it around now. Yeah, pretty good. Okay. So flip. Pop that down. Do it very smoothly. Yeah, it's okay. If you, when you pull your fingers out and if there's a little bit, just blend it. Okay, so just take this off. And so a nice flat cake. Flat top, perfect top. Okay. Don't need to worry about that because that's a giant smoother, pretty much. Um, so, so what does everybody think? Are we getting a round of applause? Yeah, are we getting like hearts and thumbs up? Are we getting love? Yeah, we want love. We want love. We want lots of. Lots of we have to wait. So the audience will see all the love and love hearts before we do. Yes, they're yeah. all coming in now. Oh, Loads of them. Woo! Loads of them. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Thank look you. at that. Hey. Thank yeah. you. You can pull those funny faces all the way. I know. I do. I do. It feels so strange. But that is fantastic, though, oh, isn't it? Them, yeah. Nice and Look flat. At Look at that. See the bits that I ripped. Yeah. The bits that I ripped are actually pretty good. Look, yeah. You see how flat. That is perfect flat yeah. level tops. Can't get any better than that, really. Yeah. Can you? It's nice just done. Yeah. And how easy did you make that? That was easy, wasn't it? Yeah. I might have a go myself. I don't 
think he can. Yeah. What yeah. Like? Well, we'll, we'll have a go and I'm not going to go live, no chance. <laughs> <laughs> I have enough traumas going live as it is. Is there any more questions, John? None at the moment, no. Oh, Ooh. somebody's just looking for the web address. The web address is www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. On the website, you've got the shop and you'll see Cakes by Barina. Or you can go to Brand and drop down the menu there. You can go Cakes by Barina. Also, the sugar paste is there. If you go by Brand, you'll be able to find lots of things. Because if you go by Brand, look for Cakes by Barina for all their products. Look for Sugar Paste Direct in Cake by Brown, uh, Shop by Brand, and if you and you'll find nifty nozzles there, which you'll find the bundles. But anybody who's on Facebook at the moment, if you go to our Facebook page, and I don't know whether you pinned it to the top, did you? Right. So Maria's pinned tonight's session. Only the announcement of tonight's session, because obviously the live hasn't finished yet, but she has pinned tonight's announcement to the top of the page with all the links where you can buy everything. And okay. The price is remaining the same, isn't it? This is not a this is not a special pre order price, is no. it? No. So the price is remaining the same. They're remaining the same. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. So I am a bit fussy, so I had to fix that bit because that bit wasn't sharp enough. Yeah. Okay. I'm a bit sharp. Yeah. Right. So let's make some buttercream then. Okay. So the winter's coming now. The cold nights are coming in. So if you remember in February when I was talking about uh, making buttercream, and anybody who's on my classes, and by the way, classes. Verena does classes and she's going to do them here in Stockport, Manchester. So anybody who's in the Manchester area, watch out for an email, for, join Verena's page or our page and um, she's going to do your first class with us in April. April, yes. So anybody from the Manchester area who wants classes with Verena, she's going to put some classes on there. Uh, we're not sure which one she's going to go with first, yeah. Possibly a wedding cake class. A wedding cake class? Yes, with lustering, stenciling, stripes. And a rose, sugar rose. Yeah. So that will be here at the Sugar and Crumbs house, my house. So <laughs> in the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen, uh, we're going to use the, the bigger part of it, and uh, Marina's going to set up in there and do classes for you. So do look out for that announcement. Um, I do nifty nozzle classes every month. Uh, September is full, but I've got places for October. Uh, I'm not doing any in December. I might do some in January, depends yet. Um, so when I talk about the buttercream, when I first started doing the Facebook Lives in February, the weather was cold, and leaving the butter out overnight, even though the heating was on, the butter was still quite firm. So what I suggest is, now the winter nights are coming in, when your butter's been out for a while, you do need to be able to push a thumbprint on it. So put it in the microwave, take it the wrapper off, put it in the microwave for 15 seconds. Now, Barina likes to use Lurpak. Personally, I've only ever used um, supermarket own. Does it? It tastes just as good, but maybe that's because I'm using our flavoured icing sugars. Um, so to me, uh, butter is very expensive at the moment, so I just use uh, any supermarket brand's own, and I find it all perfect. It's, it doesn't matter where I get it from. So in the microwave for 15 seconds, the slab of butter, okay? And uh, that's only for the winter, all right? And then all I'm gonna do is give it a really good beat. So I'm not gonna have you here watching this beat in there for a while, but let's put it on high, give that a good go. And the thing with the buttercream is, really whisk your butter for a few minutes, okay? So try and get it as white as you can, it will go white. The benefit with Lurpak, and I've found another good one I used it the other week, I used Marks and Spencer's own, and that was beautiful, that really is lovely and white. And I, I did, I have to be honest, I can't believe you today about that. Yeah. The Marks and Spencer's one, and that's not dear, I'm sure that was only one twenty a packet, which is the same as uh, Tesco's own, but I may be wrong. Um, so we're just going to... You do need to keep scraping down your bowl because when you're using a mixer, what will happen is it'll just be on the outside. So we need to keep scraping down. So you girls who've been following me uh, know that I'm always on about trying to get this as white as you can. So if you just bear with me while I get it on the mixer again. Sorry guys, I missed it out of your view then. But let's get this over here. I'm just gonna blast it on again. So while that's blasting, if John has a look here, and I hope you he can hear me, 
I've been making a lovely mess, ready for Verena. Okay, so I've been making the colours with the colour flash. I just used a, a drop of the jade. Then I've used a drop of the primer. We've got the lemon there. Okay, the pink is here. So John just puts those out. I've only used a drop. And the colour splash, the pistachio colour is still in the bowl. I haven't used that one yet, but I will do in a minute. Okay? So that's what I was doing my I bring in the stemmer in. So let's get this off again, just one second. Right, so I'm just going to speed things up. I'm using um, Cherry Bake Well flavoured icing sugar tonight. I love the Cherry Bake Well. I haven't tried that. It's one, lovely. Yeah. Um, now, I do say if you want to, you can dilute our icing sugars. Personally, I don't like them. You don't dilute them either, do you? I don't dilute them, I like her. So, I, personally, I don't dilute them myself, but I know some of you do like to dilute them. There's 36 flavours, so there's one for everyone. You can see how lovely and white it is. I've not sifted this icing sugar either. I never sift the icing sugar. So, um, and we only use premium flavourings and we only use natural flavourings, okay? So all the flavourings are white in colour apart from the chocolate flavourings. And that is mint chocolate, Jaffa Twist, chocolate milkshake. Um, we do do a cinnamon swirl, a Christmas punch and an, uh, uh, an apple crumble. And that's got cinnamon in and that does come with a little beige colour. But you can colour those as well. So you'll see that I'm chopping in the icing sugar and the reason I'm chopping that in is simply because if you don't chop it in and you turn the mixer on you're just going to have a massive big cloud in the kitchen. I won't be able to see through my glasses and my crystal chandeliers here in the kitchen will be covered in the stuff posing there with crystal chandeliers. They are from Marks and Spencers and plastic. <laughs> they just look good. <laughs> So, um, anyhow. Make a nice cake stand out then, you know? Pardon? You can make a nice cake stand out yeah, there. Yeah, nice. Want to show can them? Can we show them? Can we but... show them this bling? <laughs> They're my crystal chandeliers. <laughs> Who thinks that would make a good cake stand? I think it'd make a great cake stand. We need a big cake. Yeah. Anyhow, so, we've chopped in the buttercream. Now, at the moment, we're borderline because the weather's crazy at the moment. Um, I don't know how many of you have been having the heating on, but we've had the heating on one night, heating off the next night. So, uh, so at the moment, I don't feel that we need to add anything else to this. But come the winter, I'm going to advise that you add a couple of tablespoons of condensed milk or boiling hot water or normal milk. Personal choice, okay? Now, how long does buttercream last for? If you use water or condensed milk, you, whatever you've got left, you can put in an airtight container, pop it in the fridge and save it for as long as the date on the packet. If you use milk, you have to use it within a few days. So, all chopped in. And we're going to give this a beating of its life again. So all I'm going to do is pulsate. And pulsate means just turning it on and off. Just why it all incorporates. I think you can see it there. I'll get my arm out of the way. Right, then as soon as it gets like that, we're going for it. Now I do usually beat it quite a while, just so it turns sort of as white and as pale and fluffy as I can. The problem is you can sometimes overbeat, and I spoke to a lady today, when you overbeat, it basically means it's going to put loads of air holes, it's air, air, air holes into your buttercream. So I'm going to show you what to do with that, and um, I will show you what to do with it. When you overbeat, so this one I've just here, and I'd actually slightly overbeat that. So can you see all the air pockets there? Okay, so don't beat in again. So don't get a stirrer and start stirring, okay? Paddle it in. So just move it in. And if you just keep smoothing it in, move all your colour in, that will then take out 
with your air. Okay? So it's quite important that you don't keep beating. So if, you, if your buttercream has got lots of air in, it's important that you do it this way. Yeah? So you keep. So you'll see that I'm not stirring with a spoon, going crazy. I'm just flattening it out. Now the consistency. Let's just get a bit of colour for this. Can you show the colours again? Yeah, I'm going to show the colours again. So I'm just going to put a drop into this. So the consistency, you only need a little drop. So I think you missed that there before, John, but just put a drop in. And then all you're going to do is keep paddling again. And then paddling again stops. You're getting all those bubbles in your buttercream. Yeah? So if I'm going to show you now. So I'm going to show you now what I mean. So my buttercream here. So can you see how it's all smoothed out? To where you could see all the bubbles before. That's lovely. And the other thing is, it's very hard for me to show you guys, but I watch everybody say to people, it's got to be a firm consistency. It must not be firm. Okay, I, can't, I don't want to say soft because I don't want you all making sloppy buttercream, but it really does have to be a soft medium buttercream, if that makes sense. You need to be able to squeeze this easily out of your bag. And the other thing is you have to adapt it to the type of weather it is. Now in the UK, we're normally usually cold all year, but uh, we do have some hot days and we had a great May. Um, some really nice hot days in May and some nice hot days in June, if anyone can remember them. Um, the problem then is it melts mm -hmm. and it melts very quickly. So you have to work with it again. So I know when I had people on classes, we had to keep putting the filled bags of buttercream in. But can you see how this is? Do you want to show them yourself that that's not firm? Um, cherry paint, that's good, isn't it? Mm. Sure Sorry, I'm just enjoying this part of This is so nice. <laughs> but this is one thing me and my friend were saying, um, that your, your icy sugars give a smoother buttercream yeah. anyway. Yeah. Sorry, this is so nice. Look at that. It's easy, isn't it? Nice that and That would be smooth. lovely for all piping. Look at yeah, that. You're a nice job. Sorry. Is that okay? Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> Right, so here we are, back to my... My bed nice now. Okay, so, nice. so here we are to my bit in the mixer here. And I just want to see if I can point out again, I've not actually, I've not actually over beat this too much, but you can see, can you see the holes in there? Can you see the holes in there? I don't know if it shows up very well, yeah? So that's when I'm saying when you add colour, make sure you paddle it out when you add the colour rather than keep mixing them in like that. Okay, so don't stir once you start to add the colour. Start to paddle them out. So, uh, as I say, I sent a message to a lady today who was doing really well with her cupcakes and I just said, I hope you don't mind me saying, but um, I think you're just either overbeating your buttercream or are you using margarine? The one thing I will not use is margarine for buttercream. Now, I know some people don't agree with me on that. What do you think? Butter. It's got to be butter, hasn't it? Buttercream is called buttercream yeah. because you use butter. So soft subject, sensitive subject, Karen. Let's forget that subject. And if Jackie's <laughs> watching, I will tell you again, Jackie. <laughs> she is, and she's mentioned stork already. Oh, she's oh my stork. gosh. I know, Jackie's a big funny fan of using stores. <laughs> Anyhow, we'll, we'll move on, Jackie. And Jackie will be here next week. I haven't told her, but um, uh, she did say I've got Bright's Baking in next week, doing lots of delicious bakes and breads. And uh, Jackie's coming along to join us. So I'm hoping Richard contacted her today. And if she hasn't had a contact from Richard, there you go, Jackie, you've just been told. You're back here next week. So what are we going to do with you now? Um, shall we do a square cake? I think Shall we, we cover the square cake and then yeah. we'll go on with the Decorating. unicorn? 
Yeah. Yeah. Let's do the square cake. So yeah. back to the smoothers, and I'll go and do some more colouring. <laughs> Last. No, why, why did I do? I did a live in my own group on uh, a square cake on what night was it, Carol? Was it Friday night? Friday night. Was it Saturday? I can't remember. One of the nights. Nice early hours of the morning. And it was the I first was time I'd done a square cake in six months. So this is the second time. So it's kind of alien to me still, but. Um, I think it'll be fine, dead easy. <laughs> so square gates, can we get a wow for the people yeah. who have problems with square gates? But you know what, Brina, don't worry, because the whole thing about doing Facebook Live is, is that people want to see you do this really well, yeah. but what they really do want to see is when you make a mistake, how to put that mistake right. Well, because that's that. what happens with them. They make a mistake, they get a tear, they get a rip, and then they go into meltdown. So if that happens with you, so it's good it's your second one, if that happens with you, they want you to be telling them Don't how panic. to do it. Don't panic. Don't panic. That's the answer. Don't panic. Every problem is fixed. We do this. Oh, well, that's another one. Anything that's flexible is fixable. Anything that's flexible is fixable. So that's flexible, it's fixable. Do you think right. that's why you do that funny face? Because you're not panicking. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> they're all going to be right. watching your video now. Good. <laughs> if they're not, they really bite. <laughs> right, so we're going to do a square cake. I'm going to move this round one out the way. So wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Just wash my clock and I'll do a minute. Okay, we need this back. We need this food paper. I have some. Thank you. So more sugar paste. So my eight inch, my six inch and square is a little bit shallower, but a square does take up a little bit more sugar paste. So. I'm still going to measure out the 600 grams. That much. That'll do. If you're using sugar paste direct, make sure you keep it in your blue bag and slice it like I did there. And for storing it, this blue bag must be nice and tight put this away okay because this blue bag is what keeps it fresh just in case anybody didn't know that okay it's a bit of tricks again and we'll need this in why have you used tricks on the bottom and not corn flour because corn flour is dry and that will dry out my sugar paste faster than I want it to with Trex, just makes it nice and silky and much more pliable. But I like to roll out in corn flour so it's a little bit more dry on the cake. And there's no stickiness at all. There's no stickiness in that. Like, if I was to just use corn flour or a plain worktop, this would be sticking to my hands. But because I'm using Trex, it's not happening. A lot of sugar paste say are ready to roll. That still means you need to knead it. You don't just take it out of the pack and roll it. You still need to, eat, roll to knead it to activate the gum. So, that's that done. I'm gonna wet the cake again. Get to know. can't stress this enough, when you're wetting the cake, make sure you wet the whole cake. Any bits that you leave dry can leave you air bubbles. And make sure you use a quality kitchen roll if you're doing it this way, so it doesn't shred on the cake. Make sure you get the bit at the bottom, the tops. And I'll tell you why I use a drum as well, because I'm sure some of you are sitting there going, why is she using a drum? One, it's easier to crumb coat, the ganache. Two, when you have a really, really tall cake, like five inch, six inch, and you go to lift a board underneath, it flexes. When it flexes, your level cake is no longer level. 
because it squishes the buttercream from underneath. If you use a drum, it's absolutely solid. It's not going to go anywhere, okay? Much better, more sturdy for stacking as well. So I've wet all that. I'm going to roll out my icing and get that covered. Okay? Right. While you're wetting your icing, just let me show what I've done here as well. Okay? When it's winter, when it's winter here, I've prepared the nozzles here. So when it's winter, what I normally do is I wet a damp tea, uh, dishcloth, just have one for your baking, and normally stick it in the bottom of the bowl and I'll stand these. Anybody who's watching me last week saw me have all my nozzles in the bowl. Um, because it's winter now, this hardens up and crusts over very quickly. So it's handy just to have a nice damp cloth just to stop them crusting over. Now you don't need to do that in the summer because it stays soft, the buttercream. But in the winter, just watch out for that. So keep them nice and soft. Yeah, and we're back to green again. So is everybody enjoying this tonight? Are you learning lots, everybody? So keep those thumbs up and love hearts going. Just let Farina know how well she's doing. I'm hoping to get her back. <laughs> for another face well, to drive after Christmas. If we go to that Indian, I'll come back. <laughs> That ending was amazing. I'll come back for that. <laughs> right, I have a wee air bubble. Oh, where did I put that thing? Are you all glad to get the kids back to school? Start doing your baking again. Here we go. do advise leaving the crumb coat overnight um, rather than the fridge unless you're in a country where you must refrigerate your cakes because um, refrigerating can make the icing sweat which makes it more difficult to work on the cake and get it nice and sharp. Squares, who's, squares are everyone's nemesis, usually. So we'll make this easy. So this is rolled out to three millimeters, perfect, nice and even all the way around. No chunky bits, no thin bits. All three millimeters, pop it over. Don't pull too much. There we go. Get the top, any air bubbles out the top. Seal the corners so it doesn't rip at the corners. See those sharp ganache corners? And if it rips, you can fix it with a smoother. I've ripped many. <laughs> many cakes I've ripped. When you're sitting trying to do, see, there we go, we've ripped it there, but it's fine. Well, it's good for you to These rip, are ganache, you this ganache is solid. It's like, I don't know if any of you have covered dummy cakes, but it's so rigid, like a dummy cake. This is real cake that you're doing? Oh yes, this is real cake. We baked these last night. We baked these last night and we just used the Maisie sponge recipe. So nothing too fancy, nothing too firm, just a nice plain sponge. Okay. So you see we're not pulling we're not pulling this, we're kind of opening up the plate. We're just unfolding it. Unfold pat. Unfold. Stroke it down. Okay. A little bit at a time. So that already looks good when you've ganache, but we want to really sharpen that up. It's a really, really nice, sharp, crisp corner and edge. So we'll cut off the excess. Yep. 
You'll notice my excess is all clean because I've ganached. I don't have any bits of buttercream or ganache on there. So you can wrap that up and reuse it. You can use it as modeling paste with Tylo powder. So it's not wasted. Upside down method plate again. I'm going to pop it on. start with these corners first while the sugar paste is still nice and wet and pliable. Thank you very much for you. We have a get a grip smoother. We'll get this one. So for these, these don't have the get a grip on them yet. I'm going to get, um, just make sure my hand is clean. So we kind of want to mold the cake to this corner, okay? So we do a little bit of rubbing here first, all right? Okay, so we get this edge here, but we also want this at the bottom, the sugar paste to be flush with the smoother, okay? So we can mold that up down a little bit. This is where this thing comes in really handy, okay? Bit of corn flour, stops it sticking. And then we'll rub this up and down. See how when you've dabbed a bit of corn flour on there, there's no stickiness, no dramas. Rub it down till that corner is achieved there. It doesn't matter whether you use a round or a square plate, does it? No. It just depends on what you're comfortable using and flipping over. Okay. So got a bit crazy on that one, but then we've got to be nice. We have, yeah. I need to be nice, just to close that off. Is this one okay, not that? Yeah, that'll, that'll do. do. So you can chop off, chop off any excess. I'm gonna do the next one. A bit of corn flour on it to begin with, so we don't have any dramas. Make sure your hands clean. Just make sure that's not it. Okay, I think that one is achieved. clean for gripping this side. Okay. Other side, a bit of corn flour. Make sure your hands clean for gripping this side. the sugar paste into this corner okay so we have corners <laughs> we're gonna go around and make sure these edges we have sharp edges as well okay 
So we'll just go around with the group grip, get a grip smoother. Is anybody asking questions, John? Any questions I need to answer? We're all totally absorbed, are we? Mesmerise. Yeah. Are we doing good? What are we doing? We have messages. Uh, it's just one question. Uh, would you be able to use it if you were doing a 12 inch kick, seeing as the biggest board's only 12 inches? The reason I haven't made it any bigger is because I would think flipping over a 12 or 14 inch cake is nearly impossible. Yeah. I think the biggest you can flip over is a 10. For your 12 inch and 14 inch, 15 inch and bigger cakes, you would use that on top, that on the side, and just use it the traditional way. Yeah, it's a bit more hard to work. Yeah. To get it done. The, the thing it takes a bit longer, but... The thing with doing it this way, it makes it quicker, the whole process yeah. quicker. But in my four years, as a cake maker, I've done three 12 inch cakes. That's all. Everything else has been 10, 8 and 6. Maybe that's the area I'm in, but in my... In my time, I've only done three 12 inch cakes. So, just pushing that down. Rachel said she tried this method today, but the edges sank back down later. She said she used crusting buttercream. Does she use these plates? Don't know. Because these are on pre order. Yeah, and they won't be sent till yeah, next week. She's done so. it a different way. She hasn't used the plates. Um, if you haven't used the plates, I can't answer for any other materials or products you've used. Um, the only way I would say it sank at the edges if you maybe had a buttercream top that was too high, too much buttercream, or when you've put the pressure on the cake, you've put too much pressure on and it's pushed them down. If it sank later on, possibly the cake wasn't in a um, temperature where the buttercream could hold up under the icing. There could be so many factors here. It could be the sugar paste was too thick. There could be so many the things. The biggest problem though, when that happens, is they put too much buttercream on. Yeah. That's the biggest problem. I think people don't realize that you only need a very thin coat when you use sugar paste. Let me just get these air bubbles out. Because I think people cover the cake. They should do it like a naked cake, shouldn't they? Um, a thin coat, if they're using buttercream. Yeah, it's how much they fill it as well and all, all sorts of things that can get in the way of... Yeah. Okay, so if you're pushing this down too hard, you're going to get a sinkage, okay? So we're getting an edge there. Okay. here because it's getting all over my hand. So John, do you want to see what I'm doing here then? Yeah. And then I'll flip this around. Okay, so I'm using the 1M Wilton here. Okay, and what I'm going to do is just two-tone it. I've actually, um, for, for Verena's unicorn cake, um, I've actually um, put all five colours in here because that's what she's going to do a big swirls with. And I've got my leaf tip ready there for my own cake here. So I'm just keeping those up because I don't want them to crust over. And then I put this in the middle. And then I'm just going to put, when you want John back, Marina, just shout out. So I'm just putting the pink in the centre here. And then we've made these cupcakes today, just as a little extra really. You've seen me make these before. And all we've done here is, did you make a six ounce cake mix? Was four. this four ounce cake mix? You do, you need very little cake mix for these, and um, my advice would be is to buy these um, ice cream cones and make sure they're not broken on the bottom because if they're broken on the bottom, the cake mix just comes out of the bottom and you'll lose it. Um, these are okay to use, okay, and when they cool down, they do come out, but when they're hot, see this? This opens up. So sometimes you might find those struggling to get out. So what I've done here is, um, I've just used 
just to get the unicorn the colours coming through all I've done there is um, just start well just do the rose swirl so anybody who wants to know how to use the rose swirl you must start in the centre of the cake okay so we're going to go into the centre of the cake and let, just let me get the, the colour go in a minute right so I've done yellow on the outside so you start in the centre of the cake you go round and round and off yeah so I'm going to do this a few times for you okay so you go to the center of the cake and you overlap yourself yeah so center of the cake be tight overlap yourself and the reason you overlap yourself is so that you get that nice little bud effect inside okay so we're just going to go around again so just overlap, hope you can see that well. Yeah, doesn't matter where you finish, I'm gonna show you what to do with those in a minute. And we're just going to do it again, overlap. And then I've got the 352 Wilton prepared. So where I finished the cake, when you're piping as well, you know the rim of your piping bag, try not to have it that way down because it will, it will sort of damage your flower. So where that is there now, what we're going to do is we're just going to go in and we're going to make a leaf. Yeah. So we're going to go in that one and we're going to make a leaf. I'm going to go in this one and we're going to make a leaf. Here. And these are great. You know, do you remember when I did these for you a few weeks ago? I did them for like kiddies. But these are great if you want these for like a girly party. Your daughter's grown up, makes them feel a little bit special that they've got nice roses on the cake. So do you like that, guys? So that's two tips there. Now, for those of you who are buying the unicorn cake, you get this Wilton 1M in the cake, okay, in your kit. Um, you can buy them separate. The Wilton 1M is $1.99 on the website, and the 352 is, um, I think, £1.50 or £1.99, I can't remember. But though they are, that fantastic effect... And I can't remember how much the um, stands are, but I'm sure Rob Allen will help me out there. <laughs> so, um, anyhow, I just thought I'd quickly show you that. I'm going to save these two for Mrs. Whippy. I maybe should have saved a few more. So, while John goes back to Barina, I'm just going to bag up my Mrs. Whippy bag. Okay. So, square cake. I actually seem to be better at working on tall cakes than do short cakes. And by the way, did you like me ice cream cakes? How many loves and likes did we get? Did we get many, John? You didn't ask for any. Did I not ask for any? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> right. Right, here oh. we go. We're going to flip it back out. Oh, here's all the loves and likes. Oh, thanks, guys. Um, just to let you know, the cake stand for the cone is $7.99. So that's under the Wilton brand. So if you go to the shop by brand Wilton, it's $7.99 for that stand. So I'm hoping that all those love hearts and likes are for me, or are they for Barina? Don't know, you can start hers now. <laughs> okay, we're ready to flip it back round. Bear in mind, square cakes aren't my forte. Round cakes, round mm -hmm. cakes all day long. Ready? That's fairly flat. That is flat. Pretty flat, pretty sharp, not too bad for not having my own rolling pin, and my own kitchen. Oh, what a shame. I know, got it. Okay, it's not bad, not too bad at all. Okay. I think it's better to be bad than where I'm standing. Fussy though. Fussy though. Sorry. Yeah. Yeah. So what do we think, guys? Are we liking this? Do we love this? I don't know. We've got to wait 30 seconds for them to come through. Yes, lots of loves. Woo! Oh, they're starting. Keep them going. Keep them going. Come on. Any questions? Oh, yeah. They're all coming now, Verena. Brilliant. Yeah. That's it. Oh, look. There's loads of them. Hundreds are coming along. That took me a while anyway. Actually, that square kick of the 10 inch one I did the other night took me less time because it was bigger and heavier and easier for me to handle. Um, but that, that was, how long, does anybody know how long that took us? Oh, to do that cake? Oh, I don't know. You know what we should time? About 10, 15 minutes yeah. maybe, yeah. which isn't that bad for covering a cake. 
Yeah. I've got an air bubble, but I can't find my pen. It doesn't matter. We're done. This um, looks there great. Is, there is. There. Yeah. Is that it? I can't see it. I can't see it. Light is about me. Okay, so I had an air bubble on my edge there. I'm going to repair it. Where's my angled smoother? Put it back in there. Okay. These boards for the upside down method are particularly good for square cakes because the way that we did this before with the original sets was we had one up here and we bounced this up and down. But what we automatically did was we pushed this with our fingers and ended up with little hills, little angled bits. But if we put that on a flat, giant, flexi smoother board, we don't get that issue. We get a nice flat top. Okay? Happy? Everybody loving this? Am I getting lots of love, John? Yes, like absolutely. This? Yeah. Yeah. Lots, lots. Right, are we doing unicorn? Oh my goodness, I'm going to try a nipple nozzle for the first time ever, aren't I? Yeah. Here we go. Right, so John, just very quickly, while we're doing Mrs. Whippy, okay? So the Mrs. Whippy nozzle, okay, this, everybody loves this. This is probably our top selling nozzle, the Mrs. Whippy. And this is so easy. You don't need to put any crumb coat on your cake. All you're going to do, I'll start off with this one. All you're going to do is sit... Squeeze, 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 and twist off. And I'll just do this one here. I'll lift that up so you can get better. So squeeze, 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 twist off. Show them another side. Put it on the other side. Look at that. I think I've got some that's stuck in my nozzle there. And I didn't get it on that side. So I think I've got something stuck in my nozzle there. And it's possibly... I don't know what I've got stuck in it there. But anyhow. So there we go. How fab are them? The kids love those. And all I've done, I've just two-toned that. Okay. I've two-toned it with the yellow on the outside. And I used the jade on the inside. So we were liking them. And that's the Mrs. Whippy. And I'll find out what the fault is with that. In fact, I can see what it is. I've cut my bag, I don't know if I can see, I've cut my bag dodgy and it's over, it's going over one of the things. When you cut your piping bags, you need to cut them so that they're in line with the openings and what I've done here, on this one round here, the piping bag's going over the, the nozzle, yeah? So with these you can, sp you can also space them out a little bit as well. So let's just see. Do that one anyway. I've got to mess about with that afterwards. So we're back to you, Brina. What do you want me to come and tidy up before you start? Are you ready for this? Yeah, I'm making a horn. Oh, you're making a horn, right? Yeah. Good. Can you make your horn then? I'm using. This smells so good. Pardon? This smells amazing. Yeah. It smells like marshmallows. What is that? That's a cake star one. Cake yeah. star white. Do you want to use star modeling paste? Paste, yeah. Right, that's on our website that as well. well. The cake star modeling paste. Brilliant. I'm so a little clean up here. Have you got is that your color splash? Yeah, the color splash. It's not mine. Uh, people do think that that product's mine. It's not. Um, I just really like it. So I'm actually mixing a little bit of the powder into the modeling paste because I don't have like my airbrush or my vodka here to paint this with. So I'm mixing it into the modeling paste. Um, I had a horn somewhere, a skewer. So this is my unicorn cake. I'm going to put that right here, right in the middle. Okay, so just a skewer, food safe, kebab skewer. Okay, and you can make this separately in advance and pop it on your cake later on, but we're going to improvise tonight. So I've missed, mixed a little bit in there. Obviously it's not shiny, but we're going to fix that soon. A little bit of tricks. It's a bit excessive, Brina. So I'm going to roll this out into like a big sausage. You see here, John? Big sausage. I'm not going to be fussy about making this perfect. Because I'm busting to get onto these nozzles, I want to try them. 
Are we finished with all these? How many of these are there? We are. We are finished with the smoothers for now. Okay, so we're just going to finish our unicorn or do our unicorn. Okay, so that'll do. Start at the back, roll that around the skewer. Skewer may be taller. That's not perfect, but we want to make that a bit more even. Do we have scissors we can cut this skewer with? There we go. There we go. Brilliant. Thank you. So we're going to cut a bit off because it's a bit big. Okay, everybody close your eyes. <laughs> there we go. to know what I'm doing while she does a unicorn cake. Okay. Tricks. A little bit of tricks. Can I use this pot for the dust can? So I'm just actually opened up a packet of Karen Davy sugar paste. Okay. So um, Brina said, what would I do to decorate the square cake? So I thought, you know what? I've got the buttercream flowers mold. Now this mold has been our top selling mold. Okay, it's made by Karen Davies, she was here a couple of months ago. I will tell you, it is for sugar paste, okay? And why they called it buttercream flowers, I don't know. But I have answered this question a hundred times. It's because they look like buttercream flowers. But what does buttercream flowers look like? Like that. Flowers are flowers. Okay. How okay, I many buttercream <laughs> flowers have you seen in the garden? Oh, no. Right, so, <laughs> anyhow, so people keep asking me that it's, why is it called buttercream flowers? It's what Karen's daughter, she designed the mould and that's what she wanted to call it and that's the end of it. But it is for sugar paste. So what I thought I would do is, I'd do, well, she, well, she has a go at, well, Verena has a go at using nifty nozzles. I'm going to get to show you how she does them in a minute. I'm going to quickly use this mould. It's $17.99 on the website. You get 12 flowers on there, which includes your buds. You get some leaves as well. And I just want to show you how easy it is. So what are you, re are you ready for? I'm going to show them how to lust our stuff without vodka. Okay, right, well, one second. Just let me do this. So we're going to dust the pipe, this here, this mold here, yeah. And with the Karen Davy stuff, she did say you don't have to put it back in a bag straight away. So all you do is give it a good dusting. Then you tap it out, so make sure you tap out all the excess, yeah? Then you give her mould, a roll, roll it, and you put it in, okay? I'm going to make a few of these because I want to use this and I'm just going to Just and spray a few of these. There you go, thanks. I'll just, this is how easy it is. And I'll make the big one. I'm sorry, holding back on you, Brina. Do you need, do you need John back with you right now? No, no, I'm waiting. I'm yeah, good. So just a little bit too much buttercream. Everybody who's invested in this mold has loved it. Quite a lot of mold for your money, though, isn't well, it? Well, it's a lot of mold. You get twelve flowers in there, and I think the leaves you know, are stunning. Though. The leaves are. Do the leaves, right? Just a minute. Let me do this big one. So there you go, big one. And and this big one. Just while I'm talking about it, um, what Karen did show us, you don't have to just make that big one from there. You can, because there's different layers. You can actually pop it in and make the smaller one. Let me. Do this in a minute. So just let me push it in there. And you just bend it down. Make sure you keep to that. I think I'm on the second or third layer up. So and then you could do that fourth layer and then do the fifth. But let's just do that one. And then let's pop these out. Show you how easy they are. Wow. So, pop out. so you see how that 
Can you see there the different layers? So you could do the bud. I wouldn't do it with the first layer, but I've just done it on that second layer. Then you could do the third layer, a bigger flower, and then the fourth one all the way around. So while, and that just popped out, you saw how easy that was, that just popped out there. Mm -hmm. So while Verena shows you her, how to do the ears and the horn, I'm just gonna make a few more flowers. Yeah? Okay. So I'll let you go back to that. So we're doing the horn. Um, if you don't want to paint things with vodka um, or airbrush them, you simply just lightly cover the area you want to cover with luster with a bit of Trex. You can do this on a whole entire cake and you won't taste the Trex, it will dry. So I covered that in Trex, I'm using the Colour Splash Rose Gold and you can see when I'm applying that it's so nice and shiny. Just keep going back with the brush, apply. You can do this with gold, with any colour and luster, it's brilliant. Someone just said, Did you mention vodka? Did you she, got, it without she, got vodka. The, she got distracted, so it's being done without vodka. Yeah. yeah. This is with Trex, so you lightly brush a little bit of Trex onto the area you want lustered. Not everybody can use vodka. Um, and well, then for religious reasons, they can't religious it. reasons, allergies, all sorts of things. Well, I'm allergic to alcohol, so I can't use it. So, I can. I'm sure John only married me, so I don't because I don't drink. <laughs> so I can drive him around from the pub. So hey, lightly paint, <laughs> lightly um, cover the area you want lustered in tricks, and then you go over with the dust, and it's really, 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 really pretty. Look at that. Just go over it. Let's just pop it off. Woo. It's all right. Anything that's flexible is fixable. Okay. I'm on fire on in it. Are you boiling hot? I'm good. Right, so turn this cake right to you. This will be the front. There's always a back to a cake, isn't there? This is yeah. perfect for the front. Okay, I'm going to get these scissors, without cutting myself, get the skewer, pop that back down, actually it's a bit too big, I'm just going to pop a little bit of this off. Okay. If you do have to break this off, you need to seal it with chocolate or like safety seal or something. So, but we're not eating this cake, so we're just going to plunk it back on. We're not eating this, are we Carol? I'll give it to the warehouse boys tomorrow. Well, mine, mine to take the horn out. <laughs> okay, so that's the horn on. We've not damaged this lovely white sugar paste. It's still shiny. They and look forward to Tuesdays. Alcohol well. free. Um, so if you can't use it for religious reasons, if you want to be super duper quick or something, you can just use tricks. Okay. And you can do this on the whole entire cake if you want to. Just get a nice big brush, get it lustered on. I've done that before. I'm ready to do, um, oh no, I need to do some ears. Okay, ears, sorry. Can I wash my hands quickly? Because my hands are covered in bronze. Is that all right? Sorry. Yeah, so I'm just dusting away here. If you get, um, I'm really warm me tonight. If you, when you make your mold, I haven't always got it right to know how much to put in but if you put too much in just take it back out and peel it off so I'm just going to so while she's being busy with that that's the colour splash two pound a pot those are okay so the two pound pot they're excellent value you get five grams in now some people have said to me why uh, is the pot not full it's about the weight of the contents not how full the pot is okay um, a lady messaged me, and also the density of some of the colours as well. The Colour Splash um, powder colours do have different densities. Okay. 
So I'll be busy making these for your. Okay, so I'll up. make some ears then. Is that okay? Yeah, well then. Um, I'll make spacers. Where did I put the spacers? Oh, I've moved them here. Lovely, yeah. thank you. Was it made for a change? Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. I do that. So I'm going to roll this out to three millimetres. These are so handy. You can even do stripes with these, by the way. Perfect place for stripes. Nice and neat. So roll that out to three millimetres for the first part, the back of the ear. I'm going to use rose petal cutter. Yep. Large rose petal cutter. Two of them. And we're going to use for the rose gold part. The smaller one, a medium rose petal cutter. Again, roll it out to three millimetres. Getting a lot in this session, aren't they? They're today? getting loads. Right. right. How to cover a square cake, a round cake, a unicorn cake, ice oh. cream cone cakes, and right. I'm using the Karen Davies buttercream mould. Really? <laughs> hey, you get it all here at Sugar and Crumbs. You do. <laughs> right, Free so I'm going to stick this on now. Bit of glue. Bit of glue. How long does the colour splash last after it's been opened? What the powders? Date on it. Thing. I don't know. They don't, they don't really go out of date, the powders. But let me what of the look. gel? Oh, the gel. Uh, they, they, they've got like a four year lifespan on them. Oh, the to be fair, once they start using the gels, once they start using the gels, um, they'll always be using them. So. so I just dropped a bit, so I'm going to do another bit. <laughs> Uh, the gels as well are £1.65 if they want to buy them individually, which is fair, very, very reasonable compared to other gels. So glue the back of this bit that's going to be rose gold. Stick it onto the white part. And other bit. Pop it onto the white part. Now again, this is live, so this wouldn't be as neat as I would do at home, but I think it's suitable to show you how to use some of the stuff. Mm -hmm. um, I want a little bit of... Um... We always need to say to our audience as well that when we come on here, we are doing everything in a rush. You know, we've got one and a half to two hours to do things. Well, I'm sure... But we kid, have done yeah. a hell of a lot in that time. Yeah. And um, I always try and squash as much in as we can. Yeah. So I admit that not everything always looks perfect on the night, but it's all about showing people. And it's all about bringing people who want to have a go at baking or cake decorating, showing them how easy, yours is much more for the professional, but mine is for aiming at people that think, you know what, I'd like to do that. And she showed me it's easy enough for me to do. So where's that one? Can I get that knife again, Carol? So that bit's done. I'm going to stick these on. We're just going to take a little bit off the bottom. And we're going to curve these. I'm going to put a bit of glue. You can put cocktail sticking down here. I'm just going to secure it with a bit of Squires glue because that stuff is solid. It's brilliant. I use it for my sugar flowers. There we go. So we'll put a wee ear about here. I'm going to turn these round and check it's... Can you guys tell me if that's not even in there? What is even? If it's what even, yeah, because it's you to mention it. facing you. So, <laughs> never, you I've never, tell I've never me. seen a unicorn. You've never seen a <laughs> Have you never seen a unicorn? No, I'm missing, missing out on life. No, I can't believe you've never seen a unicorn. Do you not see them after a bottle of wine? <laughs> right. Is that even? Is that evenly spaced? Does that look anything like, like the start of a, a real unicorn? No one else has seen a unicorn, so you'll you get away with it. No one knows if his ears are, are, are symmetrical. I've got in there with my buttons and everything. I've got buttons, I've got buttons. I've got in there with something. Right, okay, is that even enough? Have we got some nozzles? I'm dying to get pipe in here. Oh, yeah. yeah. Right, let's get the table. Are we ready to go? Let's get the uh, turntable back. Oh, here come the nerves. This is the main event. I'm good without a turntable to start because I, I don't use turntables really Do you so much, no. Well, how are you going to turn it around to get everything on then? With my hands. And are you going to pipe so that they can see it that way? Yeah. Or are you going to face so it to you? Here. Because John can come behind you if you yeah. like. We'll do some here where we've got more space right. to mess up. Okay. And then we'll go around the front. 
I'm right, going okay. to space the Well, set. what I've done is I've done a multicolored um, the five colours in okay. for your swirls. Okay. Oh, um, yeah, there is your rose, which is the ruby. Lovely. We've done starburst in the pink. There we go. These are the genuine Russian piping tips, ladies. These are not the Chinese copies. These are the ones made by Alexander himself, the original designer. And this one is. Night, Jasmine. Wait, can I get like a whole load of hearts and loves for my first time trying this? Do you remember what I said? You need to wet your cake. Oh yeah, you need to wet the <laughs> Apparently, well, yeah. So, okay, so like we need to like wet the cake a little bit. Where, just very, um, very lightly. Because this is sugar paste, okay, just very, very, with the tip of your finger, wipe in the area that you're going to put your buttercream onto. Otherwise, it may not stick because you need to have a base. Okay, so not a lot of water, Brina, just a tiny bit. Do a bit of tissue to wipe it off? Yeah, no, it's fine. It's plenty of up there. Right, and I can get going with this. Wish me luck! Wish you luck! Yeah, lots, on. Of, Wish lots, me luck. lots of loves. <laughs> oh, the nerves are going. <laughs> and, and go. <laughs> right, okay. Right. Okay, we're getting... We're, Okay. Do you want me to show you? No. You've got to sit I'm on a mission. Top. You're on a mission. Is this the get in there. way? <laughs> you're getting there, that's it. You get into me rhythm. There we go. Make sure you sit the nozzle onto the cake. Don't hold it above. Get another one. Where's, where's other colours? We've got, we haven't used this one yet. I've used this one before. Oh, the one then. <laughs> <laughs> right, hold on. Can I, can you guys come around here so I'm piping towards yeah, myself? Is that I okay? Do you want to come around here? here? Yeah. Come on. See around here. Don't do that yet until we get there. Yeah. Are we ready? Hold. Yeah? Action, go on. You can do that one. Right, let's try these again. So a centimetre down. You slowly you sit it on your cake. Okay. And then you squeeze till you come a centimetre high. Release and it off. You're not setting it on the cake. Okay. Actually so touch touch it. You've got to touch the cake. Okay. Otherwise you get that funny base that you're getting. Yeah. And then when you get to one centimetre, just stop. Just stop. See look, you've Come on you show me, Carol. Come on you show me. Because you're the pro. I don't know how to do this. Here we go. I'm going to do this. I'm wrecking this unicorn. So where is... No, you're not wrecking it because look at that. You've done well there. Look, those have come out. That one's, put... that one's a beauty. This one's really nice. And the jasmine ones. So you've just got a bit... So let's just see. So this one, which one are we using there? So see there, that's got a little blob. I don't know if John can see it. So see there, that one's got a little blob. Okay? Don't think you pan it. And, and also your cake's a bit too wet, Verena. Oh, okay. So just go straight back in on top, squeeze up one centimetre and off. So if you think that you've wrecked your cake, you haven't, okay? Just go straight back in on top again. Okay. So what we're gonna do is, <laughs> and we're gonna go in there, and we're gonna squeeze up one centimetre and we're off, yeah? Okay. The, the, I tell you what, you've made some mistakes there. That one was too low, mm -hmm. okay? So you've, got to, you've really got to sit it onto the cake, squeeze and off. And where's the line? Look, there it is. So because that rose is too small, mm -hmm. I'm just going to go straight back on the cake, squeeze up one centimetre and off. Oh. And give it a bit more definition. Squeeze one centimetre off. Squeeze one centimetre off. And I've copped up there myself now. See? Okay. <laughs> So, do you want to just dry your yeah. cake a little bit there? So, if we just go there, I'll just show you again. Can I um, see this the clear here? Can we totally remove that? Because that is really getting yeah. right in my way of life. Here we go. Right. We do a, a Russian one there. Yeah. Okay, then. So, what we'll do there, then, is we'll stick that yellow one back on there that you've now yeah. smudged. Okay, brilliant. Yeah. Lovely. And then we'll stick this one. So things are repairable with this if you yeah. do if you do a bit, you know. Yeah. Totally. When yeah. Blind. I mean, it's a bit difficult because I'm going over the top of yours, so I'd rather just do my own. So onto the cake, squeeze up one centimetre, off. Lovely. See how mine's nice and neat. Squeeze one centimetre off. 
and um, I don't know how you want to do your unicorn cake. So squeeze one centimetre up. No one notices the flowers. Squeeze one centimetre. Do they care? It's the edge. <laughs> it's the edge. Um, so straight onto the cake, squeeze up one centimetre off. What colours would you use for this board? They're lovely. Uh, we use the colour splash for this as well. I can't remember now what we use, but I think we use the blue, the lemon. I think they're the same colours. The rainbow ones. Uh... We use the same as in the unicorn, apart from that was the strawberry colour. Okay. And we use the blue. So that was blue, strawberry, lemon. Uh, or it might have been, actually, I'll have to have a look. It might have been sunflower and pistachio. So are you going to finish that now? Are you going to yeah, get let me have a go at this then. Okay, here we go. I'm not very good at taking instructions. <laughs> She's watching me. So touch the cake. Well, it's good for them to see that you've never used. Oh, them. Go on. <laughs> Look, Look, come see that. Go on, go on. <laughs> so it's good for them to see that you've yeah. never used the nozzles, and this is your first time. That's my seat. Hold on, let me. That is my one. I did that. I did that. See. Right, so you need to do all the main now, down. Okay, so come on, let's do this. Let's get it all down. Okay. And the other thing is, you need to have this one M in occasionally. Yeah. Just to get the multicolours in. Yeah. Okay. And you just put it there. Yeah, okay, cool. Yeah. Brilliant. So get a wee rosette in there, maybe. And a little bit of. Oh, she can maybe mess that up. Here we go, we're getting there. Oh. Don't tell Kelly about it, she's just pretending I'm just letting you get on with it. This is yours. <laughs> I've got enough trauma here now. I've Yay, get, get it now, look. <laughs> Okay, so really, if you yeah, think I'll, about yeah. it too much. That's it, don't think about it too much. Go straight onto the cake. Yeah, yeah. That's it. if you think about it too much. Brilliant, okay, I'm going to get the hang of it. Can you hear my dog crying? Yeah. It's my daisy crying. I'm just going to go and let her out. Why you do that, really. Okay, okay. 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 one there. The rose one's really lovely. I've got the hang of that one, haven't I? It's not too bad at all. Um, what now? Uh, peach. Or pink. I love this rose one. Yeah, I'll just do a unicorn of roses. Lovely. She says go on with this one, doesn't she? Okay. Right. So make sure buttercream is smooth and don't think about it too much. And a couple of practices. And you should be flying. Okay, so I need a little bit of stuff in here. Okay, get a bit in here. I think we should do some like sprinkles or something on this. This is the only one I ever really pipe with, so this is new for me, complete change. Okay, get a bit more in the main here. What one's going to do? Yeah. Get a bit of peach here. Carol, how am I doing here? Uh, I think you're doing very well. Not bad for it's not never, the things. ever use them. I, they should, no, they shouldn't, probably shouldn't tell her what to think. I don't want to don't don't cry after this, Carol. <laughs> yeah. I think That's it looks great. That's not too bad for having great. never used it. Can I pretty that up? Have you got anything to pretty that up with, Carol? I've got anything to pretty that up with? This. Any sprinkles or anything? Uh, I didn't bring any in. No? No. Okay. Cool. I should have brought you glitter. What do you think? Is I think okay? I would use some um, rainbow dust uh, glitter yeah. over the top, and I should have brought some in, but they're on our website as well. No. So, are you going to keep going on and finishing that and I'll quickly go on to this square cake? Because I realise we've been yeah. here two hours now. Two hours? Oh, I'm just enjoying this 
So what did every what did everybody think of Barina's uh, first time using nifty nozzles? Let me just uh, put this in here a minute. And I'm going to get her square cake. So I've only used a few of the flowers on here. And the ones I've used is this one, this one, this one, and this one. And I'll just get a bit more. Okay, it's such an easy cake to do. So I'm just gonna quickly show you how to put these on the sides of the square cake. And then I'm gonna let you all go for a cup of tea and come back. So where's your square cake gone? Um, it's a... Oh yeah. <laughs> this, John? Oh, have you leaned on the cake, John? John. Not. Who's leaned on it? <laughs> or Maria? Oh, have you leaned on it? <laughs> oh, look at that. That's the back of the cake. I have to show <laughs> you <laughs> that. Have you done it, Simon? I don't think so. They're all, look at that. that Someone's leaned on the cake. Yeah, put your arm up, John. I'm sure I've just seen why. No, no, no. <laughs> look at that. Verena's hard work. Someone's leaned on the bloody cake. Oh, on the cake. <laughs> And they're all bright red. <laughs> well, it's just as well I did some Karen Davies moulds then to cover it up, isn't it? So all I'm going to do is add water. So it's not on a board, this really, but it's just to quickly show you. So all I'm going to do is add water on the side. Okay. Out the mould. Just going to put this one on. So there we go. So you don't need perfect straight corners for this one. We're going to add that one there. And have this one here, that one there. So easy to decorate with this cake. Okay, I'm gonna go around here, stick that on there. And on there, this one. Hope Karen's watching tonight. I didn't actually tell her I was using her mold tonight. Let's move that one up so it comes up a little bit. And we'll fold it over that one. I'll put that one in there. Um, I'm going to just overlap, stick that in there because you can do anything with these you want. Okay, sorry for ruining wow. all your straight edges. But That's great. It's, right. it's just to show people, and I'm only sticking this on with water, oh, not with glue. Okay. So That would be a lovely tear to a wedding cake. Yeah, it would. I'm going to fold that flower over yeah. there. Let's see how that works. It's really nice folding, folding that one there. Brilliant. And then we'll stick some here. So I hope you're liking this. I've not done this before. I just thought, you know what? Let's go completely random and see what we make of it. It's lovely. Isn't it? Could you imagine you're brushing that gold? Well, that do you know what I'm going to do? You've got that brom You've got that colour yeah. that thing, haven't you? That PME. That Let's it's just, gross. Uh, gross. there we go, let's just go there, I'm going to put that one in there. Are they liking this, John? They are, yeah. Yeah, let's go around again. That's good. Yeah, I'm going to put that one in the middle, that big one there. I'm just going to put that there. Pardon? I wish I thought of that myself. What, instead of doing the unicorn? Left me to the unicorn. No, I should have thought of that for But a you way. know, I just want to show people I'm <laughs> not a professional cake decorator. And this is what the Sugar and Crumbs Night's all about when I'm here. It's to show people, you know what? You don't have to be professional. You you are professional. But for well, me... self taught though. Yeah, exactly. So, you know, but those people who are nervous and thinking, oh no, you know, I watch those professionals, I could never do that. Well, yeah, you can, actually. Mm -hmm. So let's just stick a couple over there. I'll stick one here. They look amazing, Carol. Yeah, one second. And how long has it taken me to do those moulds? Because I didn't actually have any moulds. No. So I'm just going to, I could probably do with putting a few more on. Uh, yeah, if you did the top and everything. Yeah. But what I'm going to do now is, where's the turntable? Yeah, I've got a turntable. Oh, Maria's on it. So. This is only rough because I've realised that we've been here two hours now. So you can leave this white if you want to, okay? Or what you could do is, and we sell this on the website as well. Are you liking this, guys? So where's that bronze colour? That bronze spray? 
That is a, now we're going to use this one. We're going to use the PME spray. Okay. So give it a good shake. It smells gorgeous. This. So let's give it a good shake. Sorry about these wet patches up here. That looks lovely. It looks like an ornament. <sighs> what do you think? Do they like it? Mm -hmm. Yep. That's really great. Right. Any wow. questions? Oh, do you think that's good? Right, oh, yeah. That's really good. Good. Well, 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 here, so um, just a little bit of black SPD with a little bit of Tylo powder in it. Oh, <laughs> little bit of um, black sugar paste direct with a bit of Tylo powder and I've rolled a wee sausage. And just with my um, large rose petal cutter, I've marked myself a place where I want these eyes. And then all I'm going to do is just stick it on. And we want a little bit of lash and a flick, okay? And it's as easy as that. Yay, look at that. Not bad at all, isn't it? Not bad at all, isn't it? Lovely and it looks great on this sugar paste board. Kim mm -hmm. Firth made this. Kim Firth is from a cake decorator from Workshop. Uh, Workshop. And she was in yeah. here a few weeks with Kim Powell, uh, with Gwen Powell. And uh, she made that very easy, just with leftovers uh, fondant. Brilliant. I'll show you. So <laughs> any leftovers you have, just roll them all together. Bag them for your boards or yeah, modelling paste. Exactly. It's brilliant. Yeah. Waste nothing. Right, guys. So do we like it all then? So mm -hmm. let me just get this over here. So I'm going to put that over there so you can see that. So let's just go back over everything again. What we've got here tonight. So just to remind you guys, we're ready to let you go and brew up and have a wee and whatever you do. This is the Unicorn Cake Bundle. Okay, so Nifty Nozzles, four Nifty Nozzles, the one M Wilton, five Colour Splash. You can make that. Obviously, you need to buy your sugar paste. We've got the Ice Cream Cones. Cake stand, $7.99. Very easy to make. Uh, we've got, this is the last night for this bundle here. Those are very easy to make. This is the last night for this bundle to get this free. So you've got till midnight tonight. This is a super deal, the genuine Russian nifty nozzles, okay? Um, we've got the Karen Davies sugar paste mold. Invest in that, that's $17.99. But mainly, what I do want you to do is, I want you to, I want Brina to just quickly go through her products again with you. And I want you to give her a big round of applause. She's worked hard tonight, she's worked today. And uh, I want to give her a big round of applause for coming because she's come all the way from Ireland. All the way from Ireland. Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. Northern. To see you. So, um, you know, she's given up two days of her time. She arrived yesterday and these are her super products that if you want to do your square cakes and um, perfect sides, then you need to be using these. So do you want to tell them quickly yes. again? Yes. So we have the upside down metal plates, which are usually a lot cleaner, in square, 12 inch and 10 inch. We also have them in round, 12 inch and 10 inch, whichever you prefer. I do recommend you have one of each of the sizes at least because these are better for the smaller cakes. These can have a bit too much wobble for flipping over. We also have the thickness spacers 
for three millimetres thickness. They're good for stripes as well. And we have the Get A Grip Smoother. There is an upgrade on the website for everybody who already has my smoothers. That's my favourite new gadget. Um, and we also have the full set, which has... Where's the other, can we get all of them over there? Yeah, we'll set all okay. yeah. We have the Get A Grip in there. We have another large one. We have a medium one. Too small for your little dinky cakes and short cakes. And um, we have a dainty, tiny little one for blending any mistakes and patch-ups. And we have three different sizes of the angled smoothers in there as well. And you can only get them off of sugar and crumbs. You can only get them off sugar and crumbs at the moment. Yeah, at the moment. So buy them now. <laughs> buy them now. <laughs> yeah. So, what do we think everybody? Have you enjoyed that? Okay. So what I want to do is I want to say a massive thank you for Brina for coming and joining us and I hope you're going to come and join us again next yes. year, okay? And um, uh, we're going to disappear now for about 15 minutes and then Brina and I are going to come back and do catch up for you. Uh, I can't remember what I'm supposed to be telling you. Is there anything I've got to remember to tell everyone, John? Okay, so um, it's 16 minutes past 10. And we should be back here about half past 10, 25 to 11. For those of you who want to come back, join us and ask Brina and I some questions about tonight. So go and get a cup of tea, have a wee. I'll see you in 15. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.